Hi, this is Tech with Costa and I'm sharing my engineering journey. Then the first step is to set up Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL. I've already recorded a video on this, you can check it out, install WSL. So then in terms of main operating system, I'm using Windows 11 again, you can do the same thing on Windows 10. Cool, then we have hardware virtualization. It should be enabled. Um, you can check this on Task Manager. Then you can go to Performance. And here you see in my computer, I have virtualization enabled. And this is enabled because I already did that in the BIOS of my computer. And if yours is not enabled, I suggest you to do that on the BIOS. So you basically search for your CPU options and then you enable, depending on the brand of your CPU, either Intel VTX, for example, or AMD V. And I'm not sure if this is mandatory for uh, the WSL to set up that I'm going to show you, but I always do this regardless because I always want to make sure that I'm able to um, create virtual box or VMware um, machines, virtual machines. So, and it also might have some impact, performance impact on your machine. So yeah, if you are able to do it, just enable it. Then turn Windows features on or off. Go to the start menu and search for turn Windows features on or off on off then then just go down hold down and uh, then activate windows subsystem for linux and virtual machine platform click ok then save your work and restart the computer okay so after restarting the machine a linux folder will appear on file explorer if you open file explorer on windows you should see this new folder called linux it's empty at the moment because we didn't install any distributions for linux yet but yeah, then we need to install or update WSL. For that, we are going to open command prompt or CMD and run the following command, the WSL dash dash update several times until the latest version is installed. So for that, I can search for CMD or command prompt, open that. Then I can copy this code by using uh, this. And then I can paste it using control V or the right click in the mouse and I can run this using enter and then I see that uh, it's checking for updates and I already have the recent version uh, the most recent version of WSL but just run it a couple of times to make sure that you have the latest version installed then we need to check available Linux distributions we can do that by running WSL list online run that and this is the list of distributions that you are able to install uh, on your machine and you can install multiple of multiple of them and uh, yeah then I choose and install Linux distribution so in my case I want to install Ubuntu 2204 so I just copy this I can run CLS to clear this uh, terminal and then I just run this now just wait until this is installed it should take a while okay now you should see enter new Unix username just type whatever you want. I normally use my last name. This is the name that will appear in your prompt. I like it to be short and concise. So I just type Costa and then new password. You need to insert a password to protect your system. Uh, and once you start typing it, you will not see it being typed because this is Linux. So just type it, hit enter and then retype it. Make sure to type something you remember easily. And yeah, installation successful. So now you see the prompt already inside WSL. So if I CD into forward slash, then LS, I can see the folders of the Linux system. If I go to the file explorer and then the Linux folder, I see Ubuntu 22.04 and I see the same folders here. So everything is working properly. And yeah, uh, eventually, if in the future you want to uninstall a distribution, uh, you can go to CMD. So let me close this one and open a new one. So you go to command prompt and you type WSL dash slash list to make sure that you get the correct name to uninstall that distribution. Then imagine I want to uninstall this one. I copy this name and then I need to run WSL dash dash unregister and then the name that I just copied from the terminal or CMD. But be careful, if you run this, it will erase everything inside your Linux distribution. So make sure that you back up your data if needed. Then after unre unregistering it, I go to add or remove programs 
and I find the name of the Linux distribution and I just uninstall it. This is basically the file that it was used to install the distribution. Okay, good luck. Peace.